Yeah, nobody's safe. Jolly B, this is my twist, my take, my copycat of your chicken joy. Who's pumped for this? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> After all the research and reviews I watch, I think I'm ready to make this. Let me show you how easy it is to make Jollibee Chicken Joy. My twist, my take, copycat of this beautiful creation. Don't blink. Let's do this. 10 pieces of dark meat chicken here. I'm gonna throw in half a teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon black pepper. Get your beautiful clean hand while I got a glove on just because I do have a cut. Get into it guys. Rub every little crack. Make sure guys, all right? <laughs> Once I got this nice and coated, I'm just gonna throw this in the fridge for the time being. First coat of the chicken, plain white flour, wet batter, three crack eggs. This is the best fried chicken method you guys will ever make or do. You know what? No shells, please. <laughs> Bust in one club soda, or if you guys don't have club soda, sparkling water, guys, this is what it is. A teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna go in with one cup of flour. Beat that in. Once you got that nice and beat it in, throw it in the fridge. Next, seasoning flour. Two cups of flour going in. And to this, one cup of rice flour. There you go. Throw the rest of the bag in. That's one cup. <laughs> tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of white pepper, half a tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of Chinese five spice. Whisk that all in. All right, time to fry. How to get good fry cooking oil for fried chicken. So I got vegetable oil here. I'm just gonna turn my heat onto a four or a medium high heat for 20 minutes, guys. As we wait for oil to heat up, I got this, guys. Let's make some Filipino sweet style spaghetti. So very easy. Keeping my size simple just because we gotta focus more on the chicken, guys, all right? <laughs> got two cups of hot dog. I'm not sure if all Filipino do this, but I seen my sister make Filipino spaghetti before and she added condensed milk. So I'm gonna add in one heaping scoop of condensed milk into this. 20 minutes in, I'm gonna take my chopstick, or if you guys have a wooden spoon, stick your wooden spoon into the oil. Once it bubbles up like that, guys, the oil's ready. So we're gonna do it with drums first. So into plain white flour, shake off any excess, into wet coating, shake off any excess, and into our seasoning flour. And just pack that in, pack it in very well, guys. Like very, very well. Shake off any excess, take this into the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in. Cooking time for these. 15 to 16 minutes, guys. As we wait for our fried chicken to fry, let's do up our spaghetti. So salt, and in goes our spaghetti for our spaghetti or our Filipino spaghetti here heating up. 15 minutes in, nothing to it, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Just a moment of silence for this, guys. My fried chicken game is too strong. It's way too strong. <clears throat> Chef Ramsay. <laughs> Chef Ramsay. Just Chef Ramsay. Look at that, guys. This fried chicken game, guys, it's way too strong for YouTube right now. <laughs> Starting up on our next batch, all we gotta do is strain all the bits and pieces. Make sure, guys, you strain all the bits and pieces out of this oil here. If you guys don't, it's gonna burn on your next batch. So make sure, all right? Our thighs, same thing guys, dunk it in the pool. I don't care if they can swim, you just have to get in. <laughs> For thighs, 18 to 19 minutes. I think the only thing now is, does it taste like Jollibee? I personally don't know what Jollibee fried chicken tastes like. You guys who do know what Jollibee chicken tastes like, you guys need to try this recipe and tell me if this tastes like Jollibee's fried chicken. But the look is there, I'll say. It's crispy, it's extra crispy. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Most beautifulest thing ever. I love fried chicken. <laughs> Let's make our gravy. So two tablespoons of butter going in. Once you got the butter to melt, two tablespoons of flour. Cook that flour in with the butter. Once I got a nice brownish shaded color, two cups of beef stock, low sodium. To season this, one tablespoon of light soy sauce and a teaspoon of white pepper. Whisk this until thickened. Thighs coming out. Look at that. This, my friend, is 
a work of art. Just beautiful. I'm gonna set this up. So we got our Filipino pasta or spaghetti on one side. Filipinos sweet sauce with the hot dogs. On this side, the fried chicken. Gravy. Last thing here, just some cheese on top. And there it is, guys. This is my take, twist, copycat of Jolly Bee Chicken. When are you guys gonna come by and try some? Because I'm not even sure if it does taste like Jolly Bee, but I know. It's gonna taste delicious. Who doesn't like fried chicken? Nobody's safe here, guys. Like I said in the beginning, guys, nobody's safe. <laughs> take the first bite of this, guys. Quick time, this is my twist, my take, my copycat of Jollibee fried chicken. Quick time. Yes, got it. Nice. Come a little closer, guys. I'm pumped for this. <laughs> Wow, such an amazing chicken right here. If this is the taste of Jollibee, I'm amazed. Mmm. -hmm. My fried chicken game is too strong, guys. <laughs> it's just way too strong. Mmm. That's what's up. Mm hmm Way too strong. Morning, sous chef kitty. You're a little late today. Look at you. I'm in the middle of eating right now. Why you wake up just right on time just to eat, kitty? Huh? Give me a little breath. You guys need to try this fried chicken and tell me if it does taste like Jollibee or not. Let's get in on this Filipino pasta or spaghetti. I think I put too much spaghetti. But it's all good, it's sweet. <laughs> the extra pasta will balance the sweetness out. I don't know why I put the condensed milk. I think it's even sweeter now, but it's still all good. I'm gonna try to get everything for you guys. Here it is. Hot dog and all. Take the first bite of this. Filipino sweet spaghetti. Yes, yeah, got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Mm hmm I should not add the uh, condensed milk. It's super sweet. <laughs> well, it's, it's okay sweet. Like, it's sweet, but not overpowered sweet. Wait, I lied, it's very sweet. <laughs> but it's still all good. Mm. Have you guys ever eaten good fried chicken ever before?
Come on guys, I'm giving you guys a recipe to this. You guys gotta try this out. I'm gonna dunk it into my gravy this time. I think it's well perfectly seasoned already, but I think the gravy will add it a nice salty bite to it. Guys, second bite of this. Quick time. It's got it. Nice. I'm super pumped. That soy sauce just kicks in. It's like a light soy kick when you take a bite of it or a taste of it. You know what I should have cooked for this? The rice. I should have pulled up some rice. Rice would have been perfect with this. Mm-hmm. All right, next time, I'll cut down on, well, I, I won't put the condensed milk. Mm. I may cut down some salt on the chicken. For this to balance with this, I'm gonna cut the salt down on the chicken here and leave the gravy as it is. Let's break this one up. Guys, when are you guys gonna come by? Come on guys, the most beautifulest chicken you guys ever pop in your mouth, I promise you. Mm. So beautiful. <laughs> I want some of this chicken ass. This part is the chicken ass. Let me bite up to it for you guys. Mmm. Just amazing. A bite of the oyster or the chicken ass? That's got it. Nice. I'm super pumped for this. So tender. Mmm. That's so beautiful. <laughs> Food and life is such a beautiful thing, don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your bomb shirts or Food and Life is a Beautiful Thing shirt. Like, share this. Peace out.